Hello students, today we will be studying about parts of CPU. So what is this? This is CPU. CPU. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It is the brain of our computer. All processing work in computer is done by CPU. Why we call CPU the brain of the computer and how it does processing for us, let us discuss. First we take similarity between human brain and CPU. You can see this is human brain and this is CPU. Brain stores information. Suppose we have learned chapter 1 of computer, then it stores in our mind. So what does brain do? Brain stores information. Brain stores our information. Now CPU. CPU also stores information. How? Suppose we have made 50 drawings in computer. Now these files or documents are stored in our CPU. It stores our files that we have made. Brain. It follows IPO cycle. IPO means input process output. Suppose you have given a maths problem 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is input for the brain. Then brain process it and gives answer 5. Answer 5 is the output. Similarly, CPU also follows IPO cycle. If you don't know about IPO cycle in computer, I have made another video on IPO cycle and I will provide you link of that video in the description box. Now let us see why CPU is called the brain of the computer. What is this? CPU. What is this? Keyboard. Keyboard is used for typing only. It not process our information, our problems. It is used for typing only. So it is not called the brain of computer. This is monitor. It does, what, what does it do? It is used to display our information. It not processes our information. It processes our information. That is why it is called the brain of the computer. Now study parts of CPU. CPU has three parts. CU, control unit. MU, memory unit. Third is ALU, arithmetic and logic unit. Let us study one by one. CU, control unit. It is used to control all the parts of a computer. What is the function of CU? It is used to control other parts of the computer. Other parts like Keyboard. It controls keyboard, printer, monitor, mouse. Now, next part is memory unit. It is used to store the data as well as process the data. As you all know, what is the function of memory? It is used to store the data as well as, well as process our data. Next is ALU. ALU stands for Arithmetic and Logical Unit. It performs all arithmetic and logical operations. Arithmetic operations means we can do uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. That type of work we can do in ALU. And logical operations means when we want to compare two numbers. 15 is greater than 10 or 15 is less than 10. These types of problems are solved in logical part. So, ALU performs all arithmetic and logical operations. Now, let us study through the diagram. Suppose we give input through input device like keyboard. 
suppose we give input 2 plus 3 here our problem first goes in the memory unit memory unit sends it to the control unit and control unit decide that it is the problem for ALU so it sends to the ALU ALU process our problem and sends it to the control unit control unit further sends it to the memory unit and memory unit uh, sends it to the output device like monitor